Hey guys, Eric here from Expedition Electric, and today I'm going to show you how to install the pedal assist onto a thousand watt hub drive e-bike, which is this one here. And then in the second half of the video, I'm going to show you the pros and cons of the mid drive pedal assist versus the hub drive pedal assist. And I'll show you how each of those work. So the first thing that we're going to do is use this hex key to remove the crank arm. Next, we're going to use this CCP22, which is basically is a crank puller tool. So using this tool requires a bit more force. And notice how I'm taking off the side that's not the chain. So basically what we're left with here is the bottom bracket. So so as you can see here, this doesn't quite fit around here, just barely. Um, so there really is no way to get it to stay on there. Um, because it's not, the bottom bracket is just a little too wide. I'm gonna have to cut this. Okay, so I'm gonna clip this metal here to get this to fit around the bottom bracket. Now I gotta, I gotta open this up a little bit to allow it to fit on that bottom bracket. It's actually on there pretty snug. It actually fit on there better than I thought it would. It's on there pretty snug. I'm trying to kind of close that metal around. And what I'm gonna do is put on some of this Gorilla Max Strength Construction Adhesive to prevent it from moving around. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit around the edges here. Not even sure if this is necessary, but Gonna really hold it in place here. So you can see here, I mean, it's on there pretty firmly. I don't think it's gonna move. Once that adhesive dries, it'll be even better. All right, so what I went ahead and did is pop the bike up on this bike stand. Uh, this is the Rossi's bike stand, and um, I'll put the link in the description, but it easily holds this 55 pound e-bike because I have the battery in the back right now. I'm taking the arrows here which are pointed that way. This is the way that we're pedaling so arrows going that way towards which way you're pedaling. Put it on here. It's kind of a firm tight fit. And now it's all the way on. As you can see here it's just a couple millimeters apart. Let's say three millimeters apart from that red sensor. Okay now that that's on there I'm going to put the Crank arm back on. So this is going back on this way. Make sure to really tighten it back up. You don't want this loose. I'll put the hex keys that I got in the description below because if you're working on this part of the bike, you definitely need you know large hex keys to do it. All right, pretty tight. So I'm gonna back the camera up here a little bit and show you this pedal assist in action here. So I'm pedaling, it hasn't caught, there we go. And notice how it, it goes pretty quick from how I was just pedaling. I was barely pedaling with my hand, like here, and there we go, it catches. So there is no control of how much uh, pedal assist you want to give it when it comes to these uh, hub motors unless maybe you've got an LCD screen um, here's the, the screen on this kit you know it just shows the battery and this is a kill switch on and off so there we go it catches catches pretty easily so that's the pedal assist basically in these hub drive bikes is you give it a little pedal and it just goes because you can't select 
I would like to just pedal a little and give it a little pedal assist. Um, so there we go, it just grabs right on. You can see that wheel spinning. So this is called the, the cadence pedal assist. So we'll start right here and it's on. So it's even before it gets full rotation, let's call it 75%, but notice it stops when I stop. If I keep pedaling, it keeps going. So that's why overall I think that this pedal assist on the hub drive bike is a little bit more aggressive or kind of a jerky feeling when you're riding the bike because it only goes up to one speed when you start pedaling. There is no speed selection for how quickly you want that, the motor to kick in. So now I'll show you the mid drive motor. Okay, so now we got the thousand watt mid drive Bafang motor and notice on this display, uh, it has different levels of pedal assist that we can cycle through. I have this controller on my left handlebar here, but pedal assist level zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now I've noticed that a lot of people have said, well, mine has nine or you can program nine. I think it's related to which controller you have. And then you can also program them with a programming cable, but I'm not sure if that voids the warranty uh, of your motor. So my five levels of pedal assist are great. It allows me to control it at really low speed to ride with pedal assist. And then also at a higher speed. So here's level one. And this is just much more of a natural feel than the hub drive. So if you're to say, which one's better? Well, the pedal assist on this bike is better, in my opinion. But there we go. It started up, it kind of, I believe this is also a cadence uh, sensor built into the motor here, but let me know. Um, I did a bit of research and that's what I was able to figure out, a built-in. It's that the pedal assist is built into the motor here. There's nothing attached here or here, anywhere it's built into the motor. And again, this is just level one. It just sort of naturally keeps it, picks it up after less than one spin, just like the other one, but it's much quicker to pick it up. It's, it's I would say half of a spin. So, so let's see how long it takes it to pick up. Um, it's about 25% of a ro pedal rotation is when the pedal assist kicks in versus let's say 75% of a pedal rotation on the hub drive. Here it is at the top. And yeah, about maybe 20% of a rotation, maybe 15%, it's kind of tough to tell, but it's much more sensitive. There we go, probably, let's call that 15 to 20% of a full rotation. But that's on level one, so here's like level three. Right, gonna be a bit jerkier, but I've also set it up higher, so I'm hopefully going in a quicker speed than when I set it to, to three. It's not gonna throw me off or anything. It doesn't give that much torque, at least on this fat tire bike. And then, you know, here's, here's level five. And it's already stopped, but this wheel just has a really good rotation on it. It's gonna keep spinning until I hit the brakes. Um, but the motor is powered off. There we go. And notice, you know, if I keep pedaling, it keeps assisting. So it's full assist right now as I'm pedaling this mower or this motor. There you go. And I stopped pedaling and then so it stopped. But you know, you also have the throttle option, which I'm going to hit the throttle now. So stop the throttle. So the functionality of the mid drive, at least compared to, this is the Voilamart 1000 watt compared to the Bafang 1000 watt. You know, the functionality of the, the pedal assist is just a lot stronger. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments about different types of pedal assist, I did not show you the torque type of pedal assist because I don't currently own an e-bike that has a torque uh, pedal assist sensor unless that's a type of uh, pedal assist built into this Bafang motor. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.